Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. In today's quick sensor tutorial, I'll be showing you how to set up your BH1750 light intensity measurement module with your Arduino. In today's video, we'll be using an Arduino Nano in particular. Really, you can use any Arduino model you want as long as you model the same connections we show you in this video. By the end of it, you will be able to get lux values from the sensor. Lux is a measure of light intensity, so the sensor is intended to measure the intensity of light and it could be used for light control applications in a lot of DIY projects. So I'll be showing you step-by-step step from the physical setup to the code setup in this tutorial to show you how to get started with this sensor. So enough being said, let's get started. Okay, first things first, we just want to make the physical connection between the BH1750 to the Arduino. In this case, we want to make sure as well that our BH1750 and our Arduino are soldered, that is, they have pins attached. And once they have pins attached, we could just take four jumper wires and make the connections accordingly. First of all, from ground to ground on the BH1750, then followed by the SD and SCL pins to the A4 and A5 pins on the Arduino Nano. And finally, we have the VCC pin to the 3.3 volt pin on the Arduino Nano. One thing to note is that different models of the BH1750 come with different pin formats. That is, these are just arranged a little differently. So be sure to match the names as we see in this diagram with the corresponding a diagram we see here just to be sure you don't get mixed up because some of them the SDA and SCL and the VCC pin come before the ADD pin so just keep that in mind also keep in mind that if you are using a different version of the Arduino Nano or the Arduino just know that the pins don't exactly line up the same here so you have to do a little research on your Arduino model to find where the 3.3 volt pin is the A4, A5 pin and the ground pins make sure you do not mix up any of the connections so once we have the physical setup we can jump to the code in the Arduino IDE to show what we need to get set up there for getting values from the sensor. Okay, so now that we have the physical setup, we just want to go into Arduino IDE. I'm just going to assume you are able to connect to your respective Arduino board and you have the Arduino IDE installed. And the first thing we want to do simply in the Arduino IDE is we want to go and download the library we need for this package for the BH1750. So we can just go to the library manager on the left, search BH1750. And we just want to download the BH1750 package by Christopher Laws. I already downloaded it. You can just go ahead and download and download everything you need. If it asks for any dependencies, download those as well. And just click through that and you will have the library. And once you have the library, what's nice about a lot of these Arduino libraries is they come with simple examples to build upon. So we're just going to go to the top here once we have that library downloaded. Go to examples, scroll down, go to BH1750. And we're just going to open the test example, which will allow us to get simple readings in real time from the sensor. So we'll just give that a moment there. And this will be the skeleton code that we're going to work off if you want to build off any projects because this is as simple as it gets for the sensor using this library. So we can see we have the code here. So pretty much all we want to do is now that we have the code, we could just open a serial monitor on baud rate 9600. You could see I was already running it before, but really all you want to do is just upload this code from the beginning. I already tested it before this video, which is why you saw in the output already. But you could just go ahead and upload it. And that's fine, that's not an error. I always see that on my Arduino Nano Every. And then once it's done uploading, what you can see is you'll start seeing Lux values in the monitor. So that means everything is working. And as a sanity check, after you upload and it's running, what you could do is you could just put this thing closer to light. So I have a light right here, and the closer you see it gets to light, the higher lux you get because lux is a measure of the intensity of light and of course if i go ahead and cover the sensor with my hand you'll see that it's zero because no light can reach the actual sensor so very simple sensor and pretty cool and you could use it for a lot of diy uh, light sensor applications for example if you want to control lights or smart lighting or or farming or greenhouse there's a lot of applications you can use for the sensor although it's quite simple a lot of people don't know it I think it's cool for a lot of you beginners to learn how to use and make some cool projects with. So that's all for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Really simple sensor tutorial. They're showing you how to get values from your BH1750 using the Arduino. If you guys enjoyed it, please consider like, comment, and subscribing to the channel. Let me know what you want to see in the comment section down below. Stay tuned, and I'll see you on the next video.